Hey, this is Paul Stolt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome back. In this video, I wanna cover two common crashes of iPhone apps when you're just getting started. So when you go and run your iPhone app, you might get into a situation where you go to run it and it crashes on start. So right now it's, it's working, but I wanna show you what happens when it's not working. What we can do is, let's say I didn't like this name anymore. I wanted to call it 10% tip label. And you might do this if you're refactoring the project. Let's call this the tip one label. And we go ahead and we try to run this. What's going to happen? So here we're getting some, some issues relating to that. So let's go ahead and, and fix. No, that's actually not what I wanted. I want the tip one label. So the suggestion was wrong. So let's say we're, we're just going through and we're manually making this change. So I have my tip one label and it builds succeed. So that's good. And we go to run and we'll see what happens. Boom. Not good, right? So now what we have is a SIG abort crash. This is a, a you can see the, the crash name on the right side. And on the bottom, we have a stack frame. This is what we call a stack frame. This is a, an exception that crashed, and this is showing us the current state of what functions and methods were called. So it gives us some context. The, the real meat in this is that very first message. So you have to scroll up. And if you don't see this panel, just make sure that you hit this little button on the right to show it. We can make it full screen so we can sort of see it and we can pull this up. So you're going to see that you're going to be in the app delegate and it's not going to be very helpful up top, but where the, the actual useful information is right here. And so when you see this type of issue that a class is not key value coding compliant for a reason, that reason is related to what um, we need to do. And so, so the key here that we see, it's not, sorry, I read that wrong. This class is not key value coding compliant for the key, and that would be the 10% tip label. And so it was initially set up to be the 10% the tip label, but I had changed it because maybe I don't wanna associate that tip label with 10% if I wanna be able to change it programmatically or let the user change it. Any kind of customizations, I'm now getting an issue. So I'm gonna hit the back button in the editor window, and we're gonna take a look at this problem. So two things that you can do. One is to undo the name change, which you might not wanna do. And so if that's the case, then what we can do is we can search for all the instances where we find this value. So if we copy this and we do Command Shift F, that'll bring us to this tab. And if you don't have this window open, make sure you open the left sidebar. And in this tab, we can search for the 10% tip label. And what we'll discover is that we had an outlet connection. So we made this connection between our user interface and our code, and we didn't update it everywhere, and that is our problem. So if we click on this, it'll take us to our interface that has this connection, and it's actually, if we click on it again, it's highlighting it right here. So in order to get this to work, what we have to do is if we don't wanna put it back to that name that it was originally, we click the X under that label, since it no longer exists in the code, and we need to open up our assistant editor, and now it's getting a little bit cramped. I'm gonna hide our left panel and the right panel. I don't want that right now, but I'll show you what it looks like after. Actually, no, let's keep that open. Now, what we're gonna see is when we're in the assistant editor, so we've got our storyboard file on the left. Uh, if you, let's just make sure that you have that properly set up. I'm in the, the Venn diagram icon, which is the assistant editor. I'll open our navigator one more time so you can see what file we're in. We're opening the main storyboard. I've got the storyboard on the left. I want this to, instead of being manual, I want this to be automatic so that we see the proper code file because you might not see the right code file if it's not on the right option. And then I'm going to hide our left panel. From here, I'm going to look for that tip label, which is this one. This is the one that it was called out. If we go back to the error, and I guess I have to juggle a little bit to get that error back up. We need to see that side panel still. If we go back to the, it's not an error, it's on our, our search. So we're searching for this. We found it. It is that value, if I click on it on the left and I look on the right, it's no longer there because I actually deleted it, which was useful. So we wanna delete the old connection. 
And now if we right click on it, we can see what it's connected to. So let's zoom in now. Actually, no, let's just run it. So let's say you got rid of that connection, but if you don't make the connection again, then your UI is not gonna do what you expect. So now this is never gonna change if we change the values in here. So if I make this 33 and we do calculate tip, we might get, okay, we get a different crash. So this is what happens when the label is not set up correctly. Uh, we have a, this is a, a, another common crash. This is a fatal error unexpectedly found nil while unwrapping an optional value. If you have one of these, this is, this can be from the UI not being connected correctly. This could also be from you not doing something exactly like you should be. And that's relating to optionals. If a value is optional and you try to force unwrap it, that will cause a runtime error. That will be a crash. So a runtime error is a crash of your application to the user. That's going to be a one star. So we want to avoid that type of situation. Well, this is crashing because it's not actually connected. And so we need to connect it in the storyboard. So let's jump back into the storyboard and let's make that connection. So let's do it for real. I am going to zoom in so we can actually see things and I'll click on the view controller to highlight it. We'll click on this and we'll right click and drag to the outlet. You have to drag it to its actual name and then we should see the connection appear. So now if we stop, start, and then install that app, we will be able to test this again. So we hit calculate tip, we see that it worked, but we don't see anything change. So let's change the value to 105, calculate tip, and we see that the tip has changed. All right, so that's uh, another quick fix with the, the apps. And the, the other one I wanna show, so we've seen two different types of crashes. One is because I had uh, an optional that I tried to use that wasn't initialized, and one because I changed the name of a value and I got an instant crash of my application on start. So if you get an instant crash on start and you've done a UI change or a code change relating to UI, then check to make sure that it's it's not a problem. And you can rewatch this again to see what to do. And I accidentally resized the simulator, but that's okay. So now let's take a look at one other type of what I'll call a crash, and that's when you're working with code. So if I bring open our side panel and I go back to view controller, as you're working in this, you can accidentally click on this sidebar. So you're, so you're just clicking around the app and all of a sudden you've got all these like little blue flags. And if you don't know what you're doing, what you're doing is going to stop your app. And so what you're gonna see is that these are called breakpoints. And when you run the app with this many clicks, when we try to do something, we're probably gonna see something that looks like this. It looks very similar to a crash, except this says thread one breakpoint 3.1. And so I've set all these breakpoints. These are our way of stepping through the code. And if we open up the variable view, we can start to see the value of different information in our application, and we can step through the code line by line. So that's what this allows us to do. It's a debugging technique when you're trying to find a bug with your application. But when you're just getting started, this can look like a crash when it's not. So just drag them off, click on them and drag, or you can right click and say delete breakpoint, or you can disable them if you want to check out a value and come back to it later. So you can delete those. If you hit this button down here, you can resume the app. And if you don't have a problem, it should just work. All right, so that's how to run it again. I'll just run it one more time. It'll install and run, and we won't see a crash when I type in a new value. Oh, I still have some breakpoints, so let's get rid of those. I'll drag them off, I'll hit play, and I'll try and type in 125, calculate tip. There we go. So that's how to fix some common issues the storyboard outlet crash, the nil optional crash that you'll see, and the breakpoint crash. If this was helpful, let me know. If you have other problems, please comment down below. I'd love to help you fix other common problems. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you want to download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's going to send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. 
All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects. It's going to be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm going to be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm going to be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.